What is going on? Welcome back. I hope you guys are having the best day ever as always before I get started guys If you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already You know the score if you want to become a what should we do next again? All you have to do is hit that subscribe button right now join the fam and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description I have Facebook Twitter Instagram and snapchat insta snap and grab chat so go follow me on all of those and once again I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video today We're on episode 21 of paranormal America traveling the 50 states of the United States heading west to east and looking at all the creepy stuff That's happened in each state along the way which currently brings us to good old Arkansas So today we are talking about Fort Chaffee, which is located in Fort Smith, Arkansas. Arkansas, it kind of reminds me of like a Pokemon, like Arkansas, I choose you. Now Fort Chaffee was, and I think still is, a military complex. Um, I think today it's used for like training Americans to be in the military. But back in like the 1940s, they had a bunch of um, captured Nazis there. It was also home to a lot of Cuban refugees. And also in 1975, it was home to thousands of Vietnam refugees. Now, this place was a prison. If you ended up here, you were in a lot of trouble. And I mean trouble. Thousands of people were kept here, and so many of them resorted to things like suicide and killing each other. People were turning on each other. People were sharpening objects, whatever they could find, just so they could stab someone. People were hanging themselves just to get out of that place. The number of rapes that took place in this place was unreal. It was out of this world. There was people getting raped all the time to the point where you're not gonna believe this. People were going to take a poop. They were taking their poop out of the toilet and smearing it all over their body just so that somebody won't rape them. Now that is a horrible thing to imagine. Like. This, it's got to hold a lot of negativity at this place. Also, a lot of the Cuban refugees that were home to this place were also practicing things like voodoo and witchcraft, and a lot of the time they were performing um, exorcisms on people they believed were apparently possessed by demons. So they were bringing a lot of, like, they were opening other portals to other places in this vicinity, in this in this premises. There was this one occasion where this guy was possessed, apparently possessed by a demon, that's what they thought. And these Cuban people started to perform exorcisms on him. And it's like, he, do I believe it was a demon? I believe in demons, but this could have just been him losing his mind. Whatever he was doing, it could have been him losing his mind because this place is enough to drive you insane. Now, a lot of the people who work here, such as security officers and security guards, they do believe, they've all, everyone seems to have, ex to have experienced something. And the security people definitely believe there is demons in this place, not just spirits, not just poltergeists, demons and they believe that the the demons weren't there before these people came along like the cuban refugees and stuff they believe that the cubans brought the demons here they brought them into this um this facility or whatever you would call it now a lot of the staff who work here have reported things like being the usual cold spots the usual blobs of mist orbs people have heard voices especially in the in the psychiatric wards because this place has like a bunch of different wards in a psychiatric ward people have walked in there to hear a loud voice yelling get out or shut up people have saw shadows full body apparitions and there was two women who worked there actually reported being grabbed by an arm a fully visible arm that came out of a corner of a wall like around the corner and grabbed her so you know when arms start coming out of walls and grabbing you you know that you're you shouldn't be there at this point if you didn't figure that out before now there is a lot of negative activity here a lot of people do not want to go to this place people don't the people who work there they dread going into certain places because there's certain um paranormal hot spots that they just don't want to go in because of the activity is just too out of this world it's too crazy this was featured on an episode of ghost adventures i believe it was possibly series four i don't remember the episode though 
Uh, but it was a good episode. You guys should check that out. Question of the day, guys. Would you stay at this place overnight? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. Magic Ball. Is the four Chaffee haunted by demons? Outlook, good. I'm assuming that means there is demons there. So, we're going there. Write that on my list that I don't have. And also, you guys know I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day, where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And you can go take over the world or do whatever you want. But use it wisely, though, guys. I don't give you this valuable knowledge so that you can go and destroy the world. Use it for the good. Did you know that a crocodile cannot stick its tongue out? I didn't know that either. But I don't really think they have to because their mouth is so... Snap, snap, snap. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned if you want to go to Louisiana next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. And let's see if we can go for four likes on this video. If you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later. Chase your dreams, yo.